Here I offer you a guitarist wish list. Playing a guitar like it was a violin or cello, so cool. This X2 Double, I've done reviews on it. It's a great, great unit. This Altoids Mint Tin Speaker, tiny, amazing. How about a bobblehead with your own picture on it? I really think guitar slides are my future. Uh, rude t-shirts, maybe not, but uh, a guitar t-shirt for sure. And this Fender Lego set is just amazing. Hey, it's Mike. Messing with music and as the Christmas season comes upon us, um, I've gotten uh, a recommendation from my wife to do this video about what a guitar player might want for Christmas. I think there was an ulterior motive to that, so I'm going to have to be very careful that the things I recommend might end up under the tree, and so I'm going to be very careful to give you some good suggestions, certainly. Uh, One thing that uh, I've tried to do here is, is look at a range of things. Um, at the low end, at the uh, up to about a hundred dollars, uh, I think that's the limit that I've, that I've set here. Um, looking at different kinds of things that could be of interest. Started off by just browsing through the internet, and of course, the internet continually pushes you towards uh, some of the same places: Amazon, Stu Mac, um, Sweetwater, um, Guitar Center. I decided to take it on the road. And so uh, I've got a, a little bit of a video here where we go to the uh, Guitar Center here in, uh, in, in Stafford, in, in uh, Texas, and uh, just take a look around and see what's in there. So if you were looking for stocking stuffers, small things, uh, you know, little, little gifts, that's certainly the place. Please don't try and buy your guitar player a guitar if he hasn't specified what guitar he wants. <laughs> that's a rule I think we should try to start set at the very start of this. But. Um, all together, I hope that this can be a useful video to, uh, to you and yours, and to, to mine. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know if there's anything on here I really want, <laughs> but it's a, it's a, a smattering of things, right? Uh, one of the things was, I've been watching Justin Johnson uh, for a while, and the guy's an amazing guitarist, and he uses a slide. And I don't know how to use a slide. I'd like to learn a bit about it, so the, the way to start, of course, is getting one. Um, this came in a size large. I got this at the Guitar Center, so I figured it was something I'd rather really try rather than uh, buy it online and find out it's the wrong size. I know for a fact that uh, a regular, if this was large, a regular size would never do it for me. Um, I'm six foot two, um, you know, medium heavy build. Um, you know, my hands are, are aren't aren't uh, ham hocks, but at the same time they're not uh, they're not thin thin fingered just barely fits down over my knuckle. Um, now a slide is an interesting thing. Um, if you don't know what you're doing with it, you really don't get much out of it. Also, this is a nylon string guitar with a really low action, and so uh, you might have to pick up uh, the, the, at the nut and if you want to play on a guitar like this. But if I just want to see what, what kind of noise, what kind of sounds happen. <laughs> All right, I know that can be fun. There, there can be a lot of fun in this, and I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. And they, they don't have to be expensive. This one costs thirty dollars at Guitar Center. I see plenty of them online for in in the ten, twelve, fifteen dollar range. So uh, if you're looking for an inexpensive gift that might be a, a hit, um, I'm going to put this one near the top of the list as something that could be interesting. If your guitar player has not played with a slide, doesn't have any slides, uh, consider it. it. It could be this is this is the one I bought at. Uh, at the Guitar Center, but uh, here's $30, so a, a, bit, a bit high. Altogether, we're going to take a look at the Guitar Center, uh, and see what, we, what I found there. Um, we're going to look online at a few things. Um, oh, I should mention, I put this all into a list uh, in, my, in notes, and uh, all these hyperlinks that are in notes, I'm going to put these all in the, in the body of, the, uh, of this video. So if you want to go down and look at the, uh, the notes, you're, you're going to find links to all these different uh, interesting uh, contraptions that your guitar player friends and, and loved ones might might enjoy. Quite a nice little gift section here at uh, Guitar Center. Lots of little choices, everything from $5 on up. That could be a quick place to grab something. You can never go wrong with uh, rock socks. <laughs> 
do you know his favorite band? You can just get him a pair of socks. <laughs> Capos. Um, it's more of a personal preference thing, so it's hard to pick out a capo for somebody. Guitar slides, though. Guitar slides are a lot of fun. So here we are taking a look at some of the slides. You can see they come in different materials, glass, br brass, or stainless steel, or even ceramic, which I think is a good choice. Uh, looking at the size here, you see on the left is the large, and on the right is the normal. And you can see it's a really important choice to make. If they're a fan of uh, one of the major guitar brands, then you can probably find a hat. This seems to be the Fender section. Everything's, well, there's Fender, there's Gibson hats and t-shirts. Uh, these could be a, a real easy one. Uh, I'm just going to step you through this uh, this note that has uh, hyperlinks in it to all the different uh, Christmas gifts that I had considered. Um, I, I tried to come up with alternatives in each of the categories so that you'd have a choice and you can look around and make your own choice about these things. Um, now, the first one is on the high-tech side, um, there is a, a way to treat a guitar as if it was a violin or a cello. Uh, it vibrates the strings. The E bow is the preeminent way to do it, uh, about a hundred bucks. Um, but it, it's very cool because it will work on all kinds of guitars. The more traditional way to do it would be with a resin bow. And I'm uh, showing a picture of that here. And you can do it on a, with a resin bow, but uh, you need to have a sound hole. So if the, somebody's playing a, a solid body guitar or even a hollow body guitar, it won't work. You need to have a sound hole for the resin bow to work. So the e bow or any of its uh, 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 knockoffs that are out there might might be the best uh, best choice on that one. Um, the other high tech thing would be a wireless acoustic guitar pickup, which I've, I've reviewed on this channel. I really like the uh, X2 Double, um, which um, you can get uh, many places. Um, I've, I've listed actually AliExpress here, which has a, a good price on it. Um, just for fun, a t-shirt uh, with the, the cords on it, DG uh, AF. <laughs> um, I, DG AF, I guess you can figure out what that means, or if you can't, then you shouldn't try. Um, so guitar uh, bracelet. Uh, don't get me a guitar bracelet. This is not on my actual wish list, but it looked really cool. And I, I can imagine quite a few people might really like it. So uh, I, uh, I put that on here to take a look at. Lego Stratocaster. Again, not for me, but I'm really thinking about a grandson of mine that's playing a, a Fender, which that might be a very cool gift for. Um, tiny portable amp. You know, you know, if you watch my my uh, channel, that I've got lots of amps, right? Um, and my favorite portable amp right now is the Spark Go by far. But this Altoid Mint can is just fascinating. I, I'd really love to try it out and see what it sounds like. I can't, you know, it's not going to be anywhere near as good as the Go, as the Spark Go, but it, it could be a really cool thing because you could just stick it in your pocket and you could take it with you anywhere. Um, personalization things: um, a nameplate for the head of the guitar, very cool. Okay, got a link to that. Bobblehead, where you get a customized uh, head that looks like the photograph you send them, and uh, they, you get to pick the color of the eyes and the, the, the tone of the skin, and um, and then it's there with the guitar, and, and you can either have it with a bobblehead, or you can have it just frigid. I think the bobblehead makes it really cool. Um, personalized guitar player, a Christmas ornament. Okay, so a Christmas ornament uh, that's personalized as well with a photograph would be cool. Um, I talked a lot about slides earlier. Jim Dunlap uh, slide that I found here. This uh, this uh, moonshine ceramic looks really nice. Uh, about twenty bucks. Um, but on that same page, if you go to that link, you'll see lots of different types of slides and lots of different choices there. So all the different materials and so forth. So you know, I think I think that's a that's as I said, I put that on the top of my list, and here it is on the bottom of my list. But actually. I think it's a really good idea for almost anyone who plays plays the guitar uh, and has not played around with a with a with a slide yet. It's uh, it's a cool way to play guitar. So I hope this list is helpful to you. So here's Mike messing with music. Happy holidays. <laughs>